Hey everybody on YouTube. Just got done working on getting these bearings, pulley bearings and stuff done. It does not move. You can look at that. It doesn't wiggle anymore. It's got a pile of grease in the floor, but, and we added in my old truck plate, first and original. The dust cover plates for this Cub Cadet 190 304 tiller. This is just a night video. I haven't been able to clean up, 100% clean up my mess. So, thought I'd go ahead and show y'all a quick video while I'm still here. And we'll probably test it out probably around fall time when our garden is gonna, we're still growing stuff out of our garden currently. So, hopefully everybody is, stay tuned. We are fixing to get this hooked onto the tractor one day. It ain't gonna be right now because the mower deck's underneath it. So I'm gonna show y'all a, a test run because I haven't test run it in a while. So anybody that's out there watching, we're hopefully gonna get this finished up because this is already buttoned up since I had time to do it today. For me being off on a Saturday, it's been awesome. So, Miller Bingham, it's important to you, kind of got no shirt on at the moment because it's been extremely heat outside. But other than that, I'm going to give you an update on the four-wheeler. Got a good battery now. Going to be working on getting this all buttoned up. I haven't had a chance to where I could get a new stator it needs a new stator real bad because the old one that's right here is trashed i looked at the wiring the wiring's ripped and tampered with and i can tell y'all i hooked in a new clutch spring for your primary clutch secondary clutch we've been working on a few things cleaned out the k and n air filter I got finished that up, buttoning all that up, and trying to clean everything up. Like I said, we're doing pretty good. We're now just getting the Cub Cadet tiller fixed and kind of worried about trying to back up the tractor to hook it up and because there's a grease pile right there. So hopefully y'all stay tuned on the next one. We are working slowly on this. Today I got it all buttoned back up. Putting this piece back in is a nightmare without these two bolts. And then there's metal shims that are right here that all button up together. Which you can see that gap and I can see that gap too. That gum, hmm. That's gonna bother me, but it's holding the tiller together. That seriously will bother me. Cause that's locked in place, that ain't going nowhere. Ain't that a pile of bucket of bolts. But all right, Miller bring them out. We're gonna let y'all see what we can do here because this is a, a project that I've been working on. And like I said, just put new brand new pulley bearings in it, as you can tell from video. We're gonna hopefully get all this buttoned back up and there's the tines. And that's the whole, this is the whole gear case had it apart but yeah we're gonna stop it at four minutes y'all take it easy out there